Okay, so uh, let's continue on with our lecture of uh, recording uh, these uh, ionic compounds names. Okay, so now we're talking about ionic compounds that have polyatomic ions. Okay, so when we look at any ionic compound, which all of these are, they're a metal bonded to a non-metal. Okay, and hopefully you can see uh, the metals in all of these are the things on the left. So in the first one, barium, BA, is the metal, okay? The polyatomic is the OH, okay? It's not the OH in parentheses two. That's just telling you there's two of those ions in there, okay? So, can anybody help me with the naming of the first one? What's this one called? Barium hydroxide. Barium hydroxide, very good. Barium hydroxide. Now, one thing I will say is that I don't think everybody got this one right. I would recommend that you write it down if you didn't get it right, okay? Because that's the best way to, what do you say, make sure that you'll remember it for next time. Oftentimes, um, when I'm looking at somebody do something, especially when they're a professional doing it, right, it, they, they make it look so easy. And they sit there and I say, oh, I can do that next time. Then I forget. Okay, so write it down. It'll make your, make your life a little easier. Okay, so anybody got this one here? The next one. This one's a little harder. What's this CU here? Copper. Copper. Okay. What is special about copper relative to the metals? It's a what kind of metal? Transition. Transition metal. So we have to have a Roman numeral with it, right? So where are we going to get that Roman numeral from looking at what it's bonded to? Very good, right? So what is this polyatomic ion here? Nitrite. Nitrite. Yeah, this is the nitrite. Very good. You're doing very good. And you remember it's a negative one charge? Should I let you answer that one too? Okay. <laughs> so if there's two of them and it's negative one, what's the copper charge? Positive. Positive two, right? So this is going to be called copper two nitro. Okay? Remember the two is because it's a transition metal. So what can we say about barium? Barium is not a transition metal. Look at where, <laughs> look at where it is relative to each other on the periodic table, and that'll remind you. Okay. Okay. So this one, I when I was in general chemistry or uh, introductory chemistry, I would always forget the name of this one. This one's was always so crazy to me. It's really not that bad, but. And what you'll see is you see it a lot going forward in chemistry. But it is a one that's kind of hard to remember. Did anybody remember this one? Acetate. It's an acetate, yeah. So what's the, very good, this is very good. So what is the name of the molecule, or the compound, I'm sorry? Magnesium acetate. And we didn't put a two because it's, magnesium is not a transition. So again, remember, you got to memorize all of these ions. I put a couple weird ones in there for you that aren't so popular, I would say. But hydroxide, you should know, like the back of your hand. Um, and this, this one down here, when we get down there, you should know that one, no problem, too. Okay? What's, since we already know half of the name of this one, why don't you guys give me the rest of the name? What is it called? Iron 3 hydroxide. Okay, so why do we say iron three? Transition metal and hydroxide's charge is what? Negative one. Negative one. Okay, and the last one? Lead. It's lead two sulfate. Yes. Why is that? Yes. <laughs> Lead to sulfate. 
Uh, if you put lead sulfate, very small amount, incorrect. But again, sulfate, that's a pretty common one. Get that one down real fast. Some other common ones, phosphate, carbonate, you know. Um, so get those ones in your head real quick. Um, these other ones, it'll probably take a little longer for you to memorize because they're not as common. Okay, any questions on this stuff? Yes, ma'am. The two? Because the solvent has a two minus structure. The solvent has a two minus structure, and the lead is a transition. Okay? It's a good question. That's all right. You got to remember all the rules, you know? So, any other questions? Okay, great. Good job.